Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange, and today we're going to have my five reasons, a countdown of my five reasons why I have 150 guns. And this is basically my response to the Eminem Crooked Eye interview. Stay right there, we're going to get into this. Might be a little bit of a long one. I've got notes. So, an intro here. First of all, I want to let everyone know that I'm being serious here. I don't want to attack the interview per se. Um, I, I, thought it was a, I thought it was a good interview in general, right? I'm not trolling or anything like that. It's, it's been a while since we've actually seen Eminem sit down and talk to anyone for this long. And I've always been a fan of his music. I just think that when it comes to the Second Amendment conversation they had, it merits a response. Okay, and um, I remember the first time back in uh, when I was living in New Jersey, when uh, Eminem put out his first album, and I was in the record store looking at that, um, considering you know I've, I've, I'd heard some of his stuff, and I was considering buying that album. And there was a guy there, uh, a black guy, who was like, what are you doing? Why would you buy rap music from a white guy? And I was like, but I like, I like his message. I like how you know he's doing what he's doing. It's different and all of that. And he said, nah, no way. Now, I'm the kind of person, because I consider myself a rebel, when people tell me don't do something, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Plus, like I said, I liked his music, so I bought that album. I didn't let that get in the way. I'm still a fan, there's just um, things that I don't agree with. Obviously we're not exactly the same kind of person, but this is art, it's creativity, and I think it moves and inspires lots of people, including me. So this is not me trolling them, not me attacking them, I just honestly want to answer this question. Alright, so at about 42 minutes into this video, I'm not going to play the video here, I don't want to give YouTube just extra reasons to uh, shut this video down. Uh, I want it to get out to lots of people, so I'm going to ask everyone out there to, you know, smash the thumbs up, share the video, all that kind of stuff, you know, ring the bell so you can be notified when we go live. So because we get a lot of our videos demonetized, I'm not going to play that back here, right? I'm not going to give them extra ammunition to use against me. What I am going to do is basically um, read the quote that I'm talking about here to you guys. and. It's 42 minutes in. So, this is Eminem speaking. So what about the person who's stockpiling in his house with 150 effing guns? Whatever war they're waiting for, I don't know. What kind of war you're waiting for that you need that kind of an arsenal? I think there's also something to be said. I know there's avid gun collectors and, you know, shiznit like that. Um, but there's something to be said about somebody that's buying that many effing guns. I just don't have any record of it. I'm just not on record where I'm able to get flagged. I'm not really sure exactly what Eminem's talking about here. Uh, I know he's assaulted people with guns. Uh, granted, that gun was unloaded. Um, you know, whatever. He's also threatened violence and even like pretended as a joke against his friends that he was attacking them with guns. So you guys could look this up if you don't believe me. So I'm not really sure what he's talking about here when he says, you know, I just don't have a record of it. I'm just not on record where I'm able to get flagged. I don't know what that means, but I would consider a lot of the laws that he's calling for here later, Eminem's definitely a candidate to get red flagged, um, as well as Crooked Eye, right? These guys have a history. They, uh, they, they put things out there in the world. Uh, we're talking about gangsters and, and people who've uh, committed violent acts and stuff like that against people. So they would definitely be red flags. So I'm not sure what that means. So the whole message of that song, he's talking about darkness, the song about the Vegas incident, was about the person that hasn't, you know what I'm saying. Then Crooked Eye interjects in here. He says, this is going to be the first time they flip out and they have an arsenal to do it with. Like I said already here, these are gangsters, right? These are rebels. These are people who um, build their whole careers on being badasses, and they're talking about pre-crime. Just think about that for a second. Talking about pre-crime. 
basically you're saying because someone has this number of something, we gotta do something about them, even though they haven't done anything. So they go on basically to say, we have to do something, we have to make some gun laws. So here, I just wanna have this conversation about this whole we have to do something attitude that people seem to have. And, and especially when you're talking about folks in Hollywood like this, who, you know, w what if there are people out there that say we have to do something about all this violence and, and misogyny and uh, a criminal activity that's spoken about, drug use, uh, all these destructive things that are represented in this music. What if people said we have some to do something about that? I don't believe that. I believe that this is art. I believe in the First Amendment and these guys have the right to express themselves. We need to have a conversation about this. We need to do something attitude. And what always comes along with that is a number, putting a number on what you should have. And I think people should think about that a little bit. What if we put a number on how many bars Eminem can do? Like you can't do 150 bars in a song. Yeah, I don't personally believe in it. I don't think they believe in, in that, but when it comes to the Second Amendment, they do. So what I wanna talk about here is so what's so important in, in a number? Why is there always this magical number that people have and they wanna talk about? And here goes my five reasons why in countdown form, my five reasons why I have 150 guns. Here it goes. All right, number five, the Constitution. More specifically, the Second Amendment. I'll read it to you. You don't have to worry about this. It doesn't take too long. It's pretty easy, but everyone should get this locked into the brain pan. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Short, sweet, powerful. And I think that our forefathers, even though it was a long time ago, you have to think they were dealing, they were living in a world where human beings want to put magical numbers on things. And they said, yeah, we're going to make, we're going to write this down and say that the right for the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed because there's always someone that wants to put a number on it. So here's my reason number four. Since when does the number of anything you have matter? Is the man with $150 mightier than the man with $1? Where's the dilemma or problem in having 150 shoes, 150 watches, or 150 gold chains? We've all seen people die for that. And um, in some instances, well, actually, lots of instances we've seen people kill for that. So you might say to that, well, those things, they're material objects and they don't kill anyone. And my answer to that would be, yeah, so are guns. They're material, physical objects that don't kill anyone. We all know the saying, right? People kill people, not guns. So I'm sure a lot of people out there have heard that argument um, on both sides. So let's turn it to something else. What about cars? What would be wrong with you having 150 cars? We all know that cars are dangerous things. And this is something that human beings interact with. And there's lots of people out there dying because of car auto related incidents. Lots of people. Now, a lot of those are accidents. And at the same time, a lot of those are people deliberately using cars to hurt other people. So I'm sure that Eminem and I'm sure Crooked Eye, together they both have a lot of cars. I don't know the exact number. I would say it's not any of my business, just like it might not be any of your business why I have 150 guns. How would you feel if someone said to you, I'm gonna limit how many of these dangerous things that you have? How would you feel about that? Why does the number matter? Honestly, I don't think there's anything wrong with having 150 cars. The number doesn't matter to me, and it shouldn't matter to you. Okay, number three. How can a single man use 150 guns at the same time? Think about that. Why is the man with 150 guns more dangerous than the man with just one gun? I myself most often don't carry more than two or three guns on me at any one time, and I'm me. There's no way I could take all those 150 guns and pack, up it, pack them up in a bag and drag them along with me if all of a sudden one day I flipped out and decided to do something destructive. 
we've never really seen this happen with folks like myself who are responsible people who go through lots of background checks as I said before often scrutinized we don't see that happen but if that ever happened I hope that someone out there ha has at least one to defend themselves against that broken person but there's no way that one person on their own can bring all those guns somewhere and do something bad with it. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. The law-abiding, often background check, law enforcement scrutinized collector or enthusiast isn't who you should be worried about because he has 50 or 100 or 150 or if he has 1500 guns. It's the one evil, broken, misguided beast that walk among us who seek to hurt their fellow man for no other reason than hate, twisted fame, or some glory in an afterlife. That's the person you should really be worried about. The person who is broken and evil and seeks to hurt other human beings and only needs one of anything to do that. One gun, one hammer, one knife, one car, one airplane. Think about that. Number two, the government. How many guns do those guys have? And more than that, as I said before, I'm a rebel. Meaning I don't trust, believe in, or wait for the government to save or protect me. What about you guys? I thought you guys were rebels. Or are you just entertainers playing the role of rebels? This is the thing to think about, right? Do they really believe this act that they're playing for you on this stage? Do they really believe it? They probably don't. But we, we do believe that. We are rebels. Okay? We don't trust the government. And those guys have way more guns and attack helicopters and battleships and rockets and all kinds of things that we could sit here and imagine all day long. What's the number they have? What's the limit of the number of what they have? There isn't one. So me and my 150 guns, it's really not so bad when you think about that. Except for one day when those two things collide together, when the government decides that they don't like a rebel like me being able to say whatever he wants to say. I don't think on that day that 150 guns are going to be enough. And I'm definitely not going to be able to wield those 150 guns myself. So hopefully I have 150 friends to share those with. Might help. So number one. I have 150 guns, so on the day when I need to defend my life, I hope I have just one with me. That day when I need to defend my family, the people I love, the people you love, the ones who are innocent, who are maybe even strangers to me, because that's my God-given right and my chosen responsibility. Even if you and others in Hollywood don't understand that. I pray that day never comes, but when that day comes, I have 150 guns, so that I at least have one on me. Anyway, I don't really know these guys or any of the folks in the, in the rest of Hollywood elite that like to make judgments on our lives. They always want to limit what other people can have. It's funny though. If you can have one, you can have many. And even if you don't have any, you can get one. And then you could get many. Let's just think about that. That's just, that's just logic. Okay, that's just something that we should all understand. If you don't understand that, then your brain probably doesn't work properly. But at the end of the day, the truth of the matter is, I do not understand these Hollywood elites and why they feel like they have to limit numbers on people. I don't believe in limiting how much fame they have, how much money, how much success, how much power they have in Hollywood. And I definitely don't want them limiting how many guns I can have, whether it's 150 or 150,000. Okay, leave your comments, thoughts, etc. Let us know what you think about this. Definitely, uh, we see that this is probably going to be something that the folks out there on YouTube and other places are not going to want us to talk about. So we appreciate everyone out there sharing our message. Um, I would invite folks out there to thumbs up, subscribe to the channel here, ring the bell so you can be notified, like, as I've said already in this video, when we post videos. Um, that's really, really, really important. And if you want to find out more about me, how to contact me, what you can do to help support our efforts, go to HankStrange.com. It's uh, very important because it's something that we own and we 
you know, we have ownership over our communication with you all there at HankStrange.com. You can go there, sign up for our email list, and look through the website and see lots of different ways that you can support us. So thanks once again. Um, let me know what are your five reasons why you have 150 guts. I'm Hank Strange. Peace out. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.